Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you to this slot machine. And as you can see, here's a bumper sensor. So when the bumper sensor is pressed, the slot machine will start to run. And here are three slots, and each slot has four pictures on it. So the first one is Squirtle, and the second one is Jigglypuff number one, and Jigglypuff number two, and a Pokemon ball. And back to Squirtle. So at the back, we can see three motors and three wheels. So each motor controls one wheel, and. Um, as you can see, these two motors are reversed. So when we are coding, we have to reverse this motor so it will all go in the same direction. So let's test it out. So let's try it. So when the bumper sensor is pressed, this will start to run. And oh, we didn't get the same one. So we'll try until we got the same one. As you can see, after 10 tries, we finally got the Pokemon Ball. Next, we are going to talk about the flowchart. So first, we'll start the program and we'll see if the bumper is pressed or not. If yes, then it will have a random number from 1 to 20, which means how many times we have to spin 90 degrees. And then we'll times the number by 90, which decides how many degrees the wheel is going to spin. And then we will take the random number that we got and plus the last time's remainder. And then we will divide it by four and see its remainder. And this remainder will be this time's remainder. And we name it at last remainder because Next time we're going to play it, it'll be the last time's remainder. So it creates a loop. And we will see if all the remainders are the same, and if yes, which means they all land on the same side. So we win. So there will be a sound that will be played, and then the wild troop will go again. This is how you write random in Robot C. So if you run a random number from A to B, then you write random B minus A plus A. So for example, this is um, 12 to 24, which you write like random 12 plus 12. This is how you get bumper value in robot C. So you get the value by typing get bumper value and inside its bumper name. And when the value is 1, which means it's pressed, it's true. And when it is 0, it's false, which means it is released. Because the wheel isn't really um, easy to stick any sticker on it, so I actually designed a strand of paper myself, and it has uh, everything calculated which you can just draw in the orange part and you can just tape this whole strand on the wheel and it wouldn't fall easily and it's really easy to understand too. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching.